Welcome to Auto Fever, everybody. My name is Ali. I'm here with Louis today to talk to you guys about the magnificent car behind us, the 2009 Bentley Arnage Final Series. Uh, as you know, Ali, Bentley has been producing the Arnage for 10 years, and the 2009 was the last production year uh, that they uh, decided uh, to make this car. And with its production, is super limited. Uh, they produced uh, 150 of these, uh, and it was kind of uh, a commemorative piece to pay tribute um, uh, to the, the long history and success that Bentley's had with the Arnage. Bentley has come a long way since its launch in January 18, 1919 in Cricklewood, England. The company has paved the way for luxury cars by using expert artisan in leather, wood, and metal in a state-of-an-art factory in Crewe, England. Ali, let me tell you something. With uh, this being one of the actual 150 and last produced, we're indefinitely sitting in the lap of luxury. I mean, uh, take a look at, at what we're sitting in here, okay? Cross-stitched everything, veneer quality wood all throughout this vehicle, okay? The leather, okay, look at this. It, the color of it, it's parchment, okay? Uh, what I would call parchment. It's not quite white, but it's not, it, it's kind of like an off-white. No and it's got black, uh, uh, black leather piping all around the seats. I mean, this is beautiful. Two Bentley pillows, I mean, this is insane, okay? Over here, to the and left. They're very and, comfortable. To my left and to your right, you see that extra padding up there? That's so rich people can go to sleep. <laughs> Let me put my head on, on here and take a little rest. Okay. If I you're do not like rich, don't, don't don't get in this car. Don't don't okay? put my head there. Because uh, if anything breaks, uh, it, it's probably <laughs> your month. It's probably three months salary. Okay. <laughs> Louis, with 150 cars that were made, what kind of a I guess clientele had the opportunity to purchase one of these? It just seems like it would be very a limited clientele. I'm glad you asked, Ali. Um, what the Arnage and the Arnage Final Series is can, what I would consider executive level sedan, also a limousine. Uh, but with only 150 of these being produced, uh, Bentley had a very, very um, prestigious clientele list for these. This one in particular was commissioned for a Saudi prince uh, in the Middle East. Uh, and we were lucky enough uh, to, to be able to acquire this vehicle and bring it back into the U.S. Um, and make it available for sale. You know, Louis, I read somewhere that it takes about 150 hours for the stitching on the inter uh, the interior stitching uh, to take place. That's correct. Uh, actually, uh, Moliner, okay, commissioned the interior for this vehicle, and I believe it's either four or five heifers uh, were used to make the interior. I mean, uh, you've got perforated supple leather on the roof here, okay. You've got leather on the dash, two tone leather. You've got black and the white parchment. Right. Um, double stitch, cross stitch, all throughout the vehicle. Even the nav screen that flips up uh, uh, is encased in leather, okay? Your sunroof visor, okay, is encased in leather. This whole entire interior is encased in leather. In fact, the only thing that's not leather that I can see in here is two things. Either the veneer wood, mm -hmm. okay? Or uh, the metal, uh, the metal trimming right. that's around the doors, the speakers, speakers. and also part of the veneer. But uh, like I said, and of course, even even the floor mats that are lambskin, or the, there's two sets, but uh, the floor mats that are in here with this black carpet, the piping around them is reverse, uh, which is the which is the uh, white parchment uh, piping around the floor mats, and then on the back of the seats on my side, you kind of have a, a carousel for yeah, reading material or something like that. And on your side, yeah. there's a caddy, two shot glasses, um, you know, a uh, flask, a if flask you will. With a Bentley okay. logo. 
you know, they call this business in the front, party in the rear. <laughs> is okay? that what they call it? That's what they call this. <laughs> Put it this way, Ali. Sitting in the back seat of this is, if, if, if you roll up in this, you, you, you are commanding respect. You are commanding uh, that, that you're a, a, an important person. Basically what we're talking about here, Ali, is when my chauffeur gets out of the car yeah. uh, to open my door, if it's raining, he's gonna go to the trunk first and remove one of the four umbrellas and shield me from any uh, inclement weather conditions. Because <laughs> I'm such an important person. I love what you just said there. You know, the small mini bar here in the backseat of the Bentley creates that elegant and prestigious feeling and look when one has being driven around. About 150 hours of precise hand stitching is spent to bring you this elegant and prestigious interior look you see today in front of you. Louis, what's so special about the uh, L410 engine that Bentley and Rolls-Royce have been using over the last 50 plus years as they say it's the heart and soul of the Bentley Arnage? Ali, it's gotta be the 6.75 liter twin turbo V8 um, and what's so special about it is, uh, granted, they've been making this thing for 50 years, right. but it's been such a solid uh, center point keystone. They use it, in, they, it's the same engine they use in their aircrafts as well, okay? Uh, this thing is so solid, I mean, it outlasts even the 911 Carrera engine, okay? Which is uh, just as famous and renowned. This car is considered legend based upon the engine that's in it, which is the 6.75 liter twin turbo V8. I mean, we're talking about solid cornerstone in, in the Bentley making. This is the most famous engine that they've ever that they've ever made. It became their flagship engine. In fact, even when Volkswagen Group stepped in and bought Bentley out, it was so renowned that even Volkswagen allowed Bentley to continue producing that engine for this vehicle. The sporty features of the Arnage T and the luxury features of the Arnage R all com combined in one vehicle, uh, kicking, in, kicking the Bentley uh, company into the 2000 and uh, the 21st, 21st century. century. Absolutely. Uh, what you're looking at is basically the powertrain from the T and all the best luxurious parts of the R. Yeah. And uh, what they did was they mixed those together to commission the final series. Only 150 of them produced, man, and we're sitting in one of these. Yeah. We'll probably never see another one of these again. That's how ultra rare this car is. I've been in the business 15, 16 years. I've never, I've seen plenty of Arnages, but never seen a final, a final, final series. series. They don't make classic cars like this anymore, you know? Everything's going techno technological and electric, like everything's turning into a Tesla. I'd have to agree. So this is it. This is the final legacy of the L410 engine. The executives of Bentley, as quoted, said, the rebirth of the car was never part of the plan, but it was the right thing to do. On the 90th year of the Bentley debut, the final series went into production to create this limitless model and the legacy of Bentley, kicking it into the 21st century.